Right now, it is my great pleasure and honor to introduce you to uh, Maggie Carberry. Hello. Hello. How are you? Good. How are you doing? Welcome to the studio. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much for coming in. Sure. Sure. Um, you are an artist. Yep. Uh, are, you, are you from Rosendale, Boston area? No, I actually grew up in New York. In New York? I know, I know. Okay, I didn't, I I didn't stay there very long. Some people have to grow up in yes. New York. Um, was, are you, you, but you're from the area now? Yes. Uh, what kind of artwork are you doing? The great Mr. Kurt has brought you to us. Uh, how did you guys run a uh, paths cross? Um, I believe he saw some of my work at the Menino Center. I oh, used, in High Park, yeah. yeah. I used to, my studio was down there and I had some work on the wall. And right. he, in fact, I came into an event and saw some of your work there too and, yeah. and became very excited about having you here thank you. At, at the show. I want to thank you very much for taking some time out of your obviously busy, <laughs> busy uh, life. I mean, you're a teacher. Yep. Uh, where are you teaching? At Dorchester Collegiate Academy, okay. part-time. Part oh, yeah, I yeah. also do some classes here and right. there, including occasionally at the Elliott School. Are you where teaching you're... physics? No, <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> I considered that. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm teaching art. You're the art teacher, yes. and uh, we are very proud of our art teachers. Mm -hmm. We thank you for being here. It was great talk about art, wasn't it? With, sure. With Nicole, that was really fun to, to get that information out. When, you, when, when someone says, Maggie, what kind of an artist are you? Besides great, what, what, what kind of label do you put on yourself? Very mixed media. Mixed media. Yeah, okay. I think it, it comes from teaching kids. Every yeah. time I do something with the kids, I want to go home and make it myself, <laughs> or I make something at home, and then I want to bring it in and do it with the kids. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, my background's in printmaking. Okay. But I, I never liked doing the additions. I would do all this work, putting in all this work into an etching plate, and then I'd make one and be like, okay, I'm done. And I never just wanted to do the additions, and so I kind of found a process that really makes only one print. Right. Um, and so then I've been making these, they're kind of like paper lithographs and on rice paper, and then I've been working into them with encaustics or acrylics. Now they've started to become a lot more three-dimensional. I've been cutting right. shapes out of wood. Right. Um, I see some mosaic work too as well. Yeah, that's really part of, um, I've been, I came up with this book project, and so I've been right. doing an alphabet um, most of my work is architecture related. Mm -hmm. And so the M was both for mosaic and for minaret. And so the two kind of came together. Mm -hmm. And so, of course, I had to make it out of mosaic. <laughs> do, do you have um, for our artist friends out, out in being in land lo love me to ask this, these couple of questions I got for you? Um, do you have a dedicated space that you get to work in? Yes. I recently moved my studio over to the brewery in Jamaica Plain. Mm -hmm. And it's a it's a nice big space. Yes, it is. I, I'm loving it. I'm, <laughs> I'm loving yeah. it. I can walk there from my house. That's great. Um, so I get there every day. Um, do you have to do you set your workspace up in in a certain kind of an environment where where you're comfortable? I mean, is is Radiohead on the radio? Is there you know incense burning? Is, is the there's, heat turned up? What there's thing? always music on. Um, my iPod is a little bit outdated. <laughs> So, luckily, I still like 80s music. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you can change the music on those, you know. I know, but I, I, I don't have it hooked up to the computer anymore. And, and they, you're stuck with they, the little playlist you have. They make it too hard to get it off. <laughs> so. Well, no, that's good. Yep. That's good. Because the reason I ask is because I, I'm, I'm, a, I'm only going to take on this is a leap of assumption on my behalf. These pieces take time to complete. Thank and, you. And, and are you working on several pieces at a time? Yeah, especially with the current series, mm. they're they're small paintings, and I've been you know, I, I've been kind of keeping a journal of how much time I'm putting into things just oh, for my cool. just for curiosity's sake. And um, so the first ten, I worked on the first ten for several weeks. And is this the alphabet one? Yes. Did and you start with A? I think I did. I definitely. I think I did A B C. And then it just went out <laughs> <laughs> all over the place. Well, that's um, cool. But it was great working that way because I'd be working on one, and yeah. then I'd put it up on the wall to look at it, and I would see something in the one next to it, and I'd take that one down and work on that one for a while. And yeah. I guess kind of what I'm asking is, is do you have to kind of duplicate that environment when you go back to work on C after you've been working on J? Or do things kind of meld together for you as, as, as an artist, as, as you working in your environment? I would say, if anything, one builds on the other, or I'll be working on one and get an idea that I would make more sense for a different letter, and so I'll start working on that one, and that one will give me an idea for another one. Okay. And That's yeah. great. Do you work every day? Every day. Good. 
Good. Saturday and Sunday, too. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. great. Yeah. Uh, are you going to be part of Jamaica Plain Open Studios? Absolutely. Yeah. I'm, I'm so excited. This is the first time I can have people in my studio. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I've always, I've been doing it for about five years. Really? You've been using some of the pub public spaces? Elliot? Either, mostly at the Elliott School. Yeah. Yeah. Um, one year I was at the brewery in their, outside, in their outdoor space. How do we get you over to our open studio in Rosendale? Um, how much cash you got? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. Uh, open Studios is an opportunity for you people in being in land that might not know. It's an opportunity for artists to get their work in front of, in front of the public, but it's also an opportunity for, for, for the public to see the artist in their working environment. Mm -hmm. uh, I think that that's an extra treat, because it's usually not open. You, you don't usually have people dropping in no. uh, into your workspace, and, and, and I think people get a better appreciation of a lot of the work if they get a chance to kind of see, you know, the, the space you're in. Some of sure. the pieces aren't finished, some of them are still wet, some of them, you know, it's just kind of sure. really kind of cool. I want to get a shot of some of these. Um, in, um, can we get a, get a camera shot over here, if we can, of, of one of these over here? I think we'll pan from one to the other one once we get them lit up. And, okay. and uh, you'll tell me a little bit. We'll spend a couple of minutes on each one so that you can tell me a little bit about the process of putting it together. And sure. And, and what we're looking at, uh, there's this one here. I made the mistake of putting it upside down when I first put it up there. So did the photographer. Mm. When, the, when the CD came back with all the images, it was, <laughs> it was the only one <laughs> upside, upside down. down. But it's actually a U for upstairs. And okay. so there's kind of little spiraling steps going. So you're downstairs mm. looking up the staircase. And what is, what is, it, what is it made out of? Is it, is, what is the material? So it start, I start with photography. Um, I do a lot of work in the computer. That's actually a staircase from the Sagrada Familia in Barcelona. Mm -hmm. And oh, am I looking that way? No, you can look there. That's what people are seeing at home. Got it. So. Um, and so I work in the computer until I get it the way I want it. And then I, I don't know who figured out that this works, but I print a life-size Xerox copy coat it with gum arabic and wet it and it works kind of like a lithograph you can then build up ink on the toner of the xerox copy i usually use like a dark brown yeah. um run it through an etching press and transfer it onto i usually use rice paper i like the thinness of the paper very beautiful so then it's mounted on wood um and then that one was that one gave me an excuse to buy this fun little saw I've got a new yeah, toy. <laughs> now you have it, right? So I can cut out all the little shapes okay. and layer them up. And the next one is A, actually, right? The next one to it is A. Yes. Tell me a little bit about a this one. A is for Atlas. That's the name of um, male sculptural columns. Um, that's actually a little bit of the uh, Library of Congress down in Washington, D.C. So Do they have cool sunglasses on, on the ones down at the don't. library? They, they up, should. Again, when I was working on them, I'm not sure where it came from, but they ended up getting little blindfolds. <laughs> <laughs> Very cool. And then I men mentioned the mosaic with the tiles, which is the next one, which right. is really cool. I really like Thank this Thank you. One. I actually had that image. It was just going to be um, a minaret. That's actually in Roxbury, that building. And... Um, that day, I was in the, um, you know, the Recycle Center. In, yes. It used to be downtown. They moved it to Lynn. It used to be at the high school, the Boston, yes. Boston English. Or yes. La, yeah, yeah. Now, so they I miss that place I, so much. Well, you can go out to Lynn. It's a oh, hike, yeah, but it's yeah. worth it. <laughs> so they had one of the things they had that you never know what they're going to have. And yeah. one of the things they had was all of this mosaic stuff. Right. And so, of course, I snatched it up and I brought it home. And, um, and that just took on a life of its own. Very cool. Uh, so, tell yeah. me a little bit about what your what is the when you get to Z, yep. and you have these twenty six pieces, um, or is it sometimes Y? No, you have to have Y in there too. Yes. Uh, what a uh, what what's your plan? I've always wanted to do a book, and so this kind of gave me an excuse to put it together, follow through. That's kind of cool. Um, I hope so. So the images are actually going on exhibit on tomorrow. Where? Where? <laughs> They're being installed at. Um, the gallery at Brick Bottom in Somerville. Nice. Thank you. And our opening is on the same day. I was saying as the. It is um, a busy, Roslindale weekend. <laughs> it is the second of June, but yours is in the evening. Yes. Yeah, so so go to Roslindale can... in the morning, and then come by Somerville between five and seven. We're going to have some live music as well. What's the address out there? Where is it going to be? One Fitchburg Street. Okay. In Somerville. Okay. Very cool. We have two more to look at. If we can get get a peek at these other two, when when, when they get it, when they get it uh, zoomed in, that's fine. Um, are you, in your teaching experience, mm -hmm. um, are you fine? What grade levels are you working with? 
I, m most of my teaching career has been elementary, right. which is, I, I love those little ones. Yeah. Um, when I was in Brazil, I even had a, I had a couple classes that didn't speak English. So little kids not speaking English, teaching them art was just a blast. It's the international <laughs> language, I tell my it guys. Was. I learned most of my Portuguese from them. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it, it, I love, I have three-year-olds too. Yeah. So I have K0 and K1, so yeah. I have those little guys too. And it's so much fun. It, they you, are. you can tell on their, their faces. It's just, what are we doing today? Right? They're not afraid of anything. Nothing. doesn't matter. I'll try it. Absolutely. There is no preconception right. of what that bird is supposed to look like. And guess what? They look great. Yep. <laughs> so I've taught pre-K all the way up through mm. ninth grade and then, you know, here and there. Those some middle school kids. kids end up knowing more than I do. I kind of... <laughs> They're, they're kids smart, you know. <laughs> kids there's, there, there's something great about every level. No, there is. There is. But once they start to know more than me, it's, <laughs> I'm only teasing. I'm sorry. Okay, we have two more to look at. What do we got over here? Okay. Let's check this out. Um, that. That's great. So that is the letter D. D is for dormer, which are those... Um, Things little, that jut out of windows. the roof kind yes. of things, yeah. And that is actually from the roof of the Old South Meeting House downtown. There's windows that wrap around the steeple. And I've done a whole uh. series, actually, with those windows of just turning them and layering them. And I just love those windows. And, you know, every time they come out with different colors on the shutters or... Um, yeah, they do come out with different things, don't they? They do, they do. And those are actually little mono prints. Just um, did a whole, you know, just would print sheets and sheets of colors and patterns and kind of pick out the ones that I wanted to work with. Now, I love all of your work, and I think your work is, but when I see this next one, I always go, oh, I love this one. <laughs> so this one here is, is, is very, very cool. Talk about this for um, me. This is called New York Laundry. Um, again, it's, I've done a whole series with these buildings. I'm actually working on a really large piece for a show I have coming this summer um, down in the South End with um, several layers of wood kind of layered in and out. Um, I don't, you know, I've always had a thing with laundry lines. I, one time I was in Costa Rica and we were driving up a volcano through a cloud forest and we're actually in the clouds and I look out the window and there are number one people living in the clouds, but then there's a clothesline hanging out from their house. And I, at first I'm like, wow, people really do live in the clouds. And I was like, how do you dry your laundry? The they clouds? hang it out on pearls and is what they exactly, do. Exactly, but it's always been a symbol of sometimes you'll be driving through really desolate places and you'll see a clothesline and it just really means that somebody lives there. Right, there's somebody functioning and there's a life being, you know, right. in their clothes being cleaned and dry. Right. And at the time I was doing origami with my students and we were, we were actually doing, you can make um, little t-shirts out right. of dollar bills. Well, I do, I do appreciate you bringing a little bit of New York in here, so yes. that's, that's no. okay. Sorry. Uh, no, that's okay. No, one of my okay. daughters loves New York. Both of them love New York right. so much. They don't like the Yankees, but they love New York. The whole town, the whole thing about it. My daughter goes down every March 8th to visit John Lennon's thing in Central, in really? Central Park. Yeah, the 25-year-old. Every year she takes whatever that day is, she's down in New York for Central Park to sing... John Lennon songs and stuff. <laughs> it, it's fabulous. It's, it's, it's just fabulous. Um, tell me a little bit about the exhibit that's going to be in Somerville again. Is it? Uh, it's not all the letters. It is. It all, is all the. All, so, so it's done. All twenty. They're done. They're done. Um, there's also a net. So that gallery has sort of two rooms. And Jill Valley, who is a wonderful photographer, is going to be also having an exhibit in one room, and then. Um, my show's in the other one, so oh, you get a two for one. Come on down. And it's already, it's <laughs> hanging, you're putting it up. Tomorrow morning. Tomorrow morning. Mm -hmm. So we, we were lucky we got you in here today because this yes. would be gone. We well, be... I actually was supposed to hang them this morning, and I said, can I just keep them one more night? <laughs> <laughs> to get them on. Thank yeah. you for that. Sure. I, I do appreciate that. What's the next project going to be? Um, well, I have a show coming in July at Galatea Fine Arts down in on Thayer Street in yeah, the South End, yeah. um, and that is going to. This has been all smaller work for a while, and now it's going to be much, much larger work. Yeah, you, you work in, in, a, in a bigger size sometimes. Don't sometimes you? it's yeah. it's uh yeah it's fun it's fun working in a big right, size. Right, so right. I, I'm a yeah. I'm a thrower in a and I use a knife in acrylic paints and sand and all of that. I, you know, I, I I'm in that kind of a mode sure. of, of of painting, and I work. Sometimes really, really large. Yep. Uh, and, and it's so much fun because, and then of course I come out of the dust and <laughs> my wife goes, Oh, he's been creating. And usually at two o'clock in the morning, you know, I'm waking the whole house up. I but, know that schedule. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but you've got a place to go to do that. Now. Yes, I do, which is wonderful. I still have to use my cellar or oh. the back porch or. Right. I'm not allowed in the kitchen anymore. 
because <laughs> I can not make a dust, mess. Not right. with the dust and the mess. <laughs> I want to thank you so much sure, for coming you. in. Um, I'm glad. How's things going? So you're not, are you doing anything over at, um, at the Mac Center? Not, um, not now that the studio's out. I'm mm. still, you know, of course, going to keep in touch. The, you, had, uh, you were in residency there for a while, yes. weren't you? Yeah, yeah. Yep. But I, I needed a bigger spot. And right. I'm sure that Cheryl Murphy's disappointed that you're out of there, but it'd be great yeah, to have you. I heard I've you. been replaced. Oh. There, was, <laughs> there are a lot, of, just like bass players, there's lots of artists right, out there. Right. And it's a great spot. So. Yes, it really, really is. It really is. Well, I want to thank you for coming coming in with us tonight. Let us let us know during the summer if there's anything else we need to know about. Get you back in here. All right. You know, talk a little bit more. Get some more. I, I love having some of the live big stuff. Yeah. You know, yeah. Let's get some <laughs> of the big stuff in over the summer. That'd sure. be great, Maggie. Yeah. Thank you. Thank very you so much, much for being here with us. Listen, gang. I want to thank you very much. Mm -hmm.